not a badge of honor to get bitten. I do this as just a community service. I rescue people from snakes and snakes from people. I spent 30 years as a financial advisor and a manager for um, a large investment banking firm. And I've been a critter guy all my life. When I was eight years old, I'm slugging through a swamp, picking up mating uh, garter snakes. Uh, but when I lived in Oak Park, uh, a neighbor uh, had a baby rattlesnake. Uh, I got called over to rescue her, and turned out she was a reporter for a local newspaper. This was 25 years ago. And so she put a piece in there about how I rescued damsels in distress, and she put my phone number in there. And that's how it began. I started uh, taking little coffee breaks from my work, and I would go up and I would pull a rattlesnake out of someone's yard. and, and uh, it's just continued on since then, and it's turned into a little more than that. Uh, I have a scientific collection permit with Department of Fish and Game. I do some safety presentations for big corporations. I did a uh, private party yesterday. Uh, I did uh, a seminar for uh, the local veterinary office uh, just the other day. Uh, so it started by accident and just grew. I keep uh, non-venomous snakes. Uh, native, native caught. I have uh, one of each of the common snakes found in the area here. And once in a great while, I will find a captive pet snake that someone has released or that has escaped. About nine out of 10 people, when they see a snake, they run away. About one out of 10 runs towards it. And I'm one of the one out of 10. I've seen uh, snakes doing their their, uh, the male combat ritual where they stand up on end like this. And if you've ever played thumb wars with your thumb, that's what the snakes do. They go up, they see who can get highest and put their head on top. And uh, um, so that's a nice little ritual. Every call is different. Um, one that was particularly interesting to me was back when I was in Oak Park, I had a friend who was re-landscaping their yard and I pulled four very large rattlesnakes out of his yard, small yard in three days, four snakes in three days. So I would get home and I would get another call saying, hey Bruce, I know you just left, but come on back, we got another one. And another one, and another one. People that are in an area like this where we have rattlesnakes at any moment, uh, I try to talk to them about what they should do or shouldn't do when they're walking around, either in, on their property or up in the trails. The rattlesnakes we have here, the Southern Pacific rattlesnakes, the only one we have up here in Santa Clarita Valley is not considered a particularly deadly snake. Uh, you might wish you were dead because the pain is so intense and there's swelling involved and you have to get treatment. But there are other rattlesnakes that are much more deadly in this country. This one here, I need people to know that uh, you're not gonna die if you get bit by a rattlesnake. Keep yourself a distance. After a while, you know what your, what your safety range is on rattlesnakes, which is really quite short. Uh, even a four foot rattlesnake uh, can only strike maybe two feet. So you just need to know how to stay away. boots about 12 inches high. Uh, that can protect you. Uh, most of the bites are on the lower part of the leg. Uh, if you're gardening, uh, you just need to watch where you put your hands and wear gloves. That helps. Um, so I, I, I tell them that the most important thing they have to bring is their brain and uh, their cell phone with them because if they do get bit, they need to uh, call 911 and get transported to a hospital.